First of all, I'm, I'm just really flattered to be the keynote because <laughs> this is really a daunting crowd for me. I, I've worked with naturalists my whole life and respected them a lot. And sometimes people lump me in as knowing as much as they do, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not at all sure that's the case. Uh, but what, maybe what I do bring is that sort of common man's approach to, the, to nature. Um, see things visually in terms of shape and texture and color and so on. So that's, that's really what I want to do, is just sort of excite people with photography about the outdoors. Uh, so much of what we have around here is really hard to understand unless you've got a little background to it. Uh, you have to experience it. Talking about the oak openings uh, doesn't get you to what the oak openings really is. Being there is best. Having some sort of visual image to communicate with is next best. So that's what I hope to do, is get people excited about all the treasures that we have here, uh, to do it with photography, and uh, hopefully inspire some people to go out and, and appreciate what we have. And by extension, work harder even than they already do. There's lots of people that work hard to preserve Ohio nature, but to work even harder to do it, because nature needs a spokesman. Northwest Ohio is, is an incredibly special place. But it's hard to see that sometimes. And, and the reason is we're all in tune with, let's go to the Grand Canyon and see the big scene. Let's go to Montana and see the big sky and do it because that stuff is just fantastic. But I ask a, a gentleman much more intelligent than me, very accomplished naturalist, Harold Mayfield, um, one time what was to compare the, the wilderness in Alaska with what we have here, which is obviously not untouched wilderness anymore. And he said in a very scholarly way, uh, very basically, I won't do his words justice, but what you have in Alaska is the big wide open spaces where the big mammals can survive. We don't have that, but what we have is good soil, good water, good climate. And Harold pointed out that if you look at how many different species there are in an acre here versus an acre there, we're much richer than anything to be found in Alaska, and by extension, many, many, many other places. The difference is we don't have the big vistas. You've got to look down, look carefully, look at pieces. So we're, we're, we're as a photographer, that's a long way of saying, as a photographer, to me what's fascinating is the macro photography, the close-up photography. That's our diversity, that's our beauty, that's, that's our just incredible species to be found out there. Um, and that's, in a nutshell, that's what's so special about the oak openings, too. You've got so many habitats in so little space with so many species relying on it. It's fascinating. And once you get out there and get headed in the right direction, you need to have that little key to, of what to look for. And once you do, everything opens up, and, and this becomes a really special place to be. First of all, I think when you're traveling northwest Ohio, I, I'm one of these people that, and I think most naturalists are that I know, you want to combine your trip with some good eating or, or some nice stops along the way. I, I would go to Oak Openings Metro Park, uh, not just the Metro Park, but the region. Start at Secor Metro Park, which is on the north end of what we're calling uh, the Oak Openings Corridor. Take a look here, the wet sand prairie at Irwin Prairie next door. Go down the road, enjoy a meal at Ventura's maybe, or extend it down to Loma Linda's, some great Mexican food. Uh, enjoy the corridor, there's great stuff all along the way, wet prairie, sand barrens, and so on. Uh, when you get to Oak Openings Preserve, it's, it's, uh, it's a whole different set of habitats, but equally fascinating. And you'll find the White House Inn there, so you can enjoy a lot of good stuff. Uh, the Maumee River Corridor, beautiful. One of the most beautiful corridors, uh, in, certainly in the Great Lakes region. Um, my absolute favorite spot is at Farnsworth Metro Park, the Roche de Boo Rapids. Um, grab a bag meal uh, from somewhere, sit on a picnic table, and just enjoy that big, expansive, wide open uh, rapids. For my money, it's one of the top 10 vistas uh, in Ohio. Uh, and, and then the wetlands of, of uh, east of the, uh, east of the, uh, the river, 
The Lake Erie Marsh is incredible. There's just a fraction of, of what was historically there, just a fraction left. But what's preserved is incredibly rich. Um, and of course the swamp forest too. But I, I, I love the wet prairie in the oak openings. I love the marshland along the lake. I love the Maumee River, especially because it, things open up there and it's easier to see the life moving uh, at the marshes and so on. It, it's, um, I mean, especially if you're in one of the Lake Erie marshes at sunset, watching sort of the, the shifts change, you know, the diurnal wildlife disappearing, the nightlife coming out, uh, the, the herons settling into their roost and so on. Uh, it's, it's both an exciting and extremely soothing thing to witness. So th those would be the three things I'd check. Oak Openings, Maumee River, and the Lake Erie wetlands, and by extension, uh, what's left of the Black Swamp.